Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 161 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Filkia Sigadar Ring, the insane immortal ruler of, uh, disfigured ruler of Scandinavia, and we are not at war, though we're about to be. We're going to declare war on this loser. He's currently in the defensive pact against Kanada, which is interesting. I don't have a lot of fret, but I do still have fret. But Kanata. It's one of the ones down here, isn't it? Sure. Sure it was. It's Kakata. You know what? I can actually... If I click... Okay, yeah, the Kingdom of Kanata. So, yeah, there are a few people in that defensive pact, but... Uh, Fuck them. They're not in my defensive pact, so... <laughs> Guess what, buddy? Well, we can't vassalize you because you hate our religion because you're a racist. So it's a du jour claim on... This one. The Duchy of Perm will join in. Where the fuck is the Duchy of Perm? Really? Oh, not du jour. That little place up there? Fuck them. Like, whatever. Um, now, it says du jour clan because it's part of my stuff. So, I know we don't have that duchy. It must be the kingdom. Yeah, it's the kingdom. That's fine. The question is, what will happen? I will gain the actual chiefdom. I don't know about the temple, but that's good enough. Go. Yes, whatever. Okay, so the main thing we're waiting for is for this time to happen. So either on the 9th of, Ju 9th of June or on the 6th of September. I don't know the actual date format. So can I... No, it doesn't have anything there. Whatever. Oh, yeah, fair. That's alright. I need a new commander, apparently. Does Possessed add something? Yeah, personal combat skill. Yeah, why not? Taking a bit of attrition. It is actually a fair amount of attrition. So, do I want to punch? Do we have a sage guy? We've got a sage guy. He wasn't leading the right flank. I feel like we want to punch. Just because that's horrific attrition levels. Or, you know, he could try and fight us. 60%, nice. Okay, so we've got a child here who needs an education. I'm thinking economy for him. Whoops. This one is one I should have clicked on. And I need to get back to my studying. Of, of course, the economy. Yeah, okay, we're not going to punch right now because... Well... We're actually pretty close to the attrition level. Okay, cool. Keep on doing your thing down here, actually, that's fine. Take as much land as you can without me having to get involved. Sure. Okay, it's 79%. This next one should go down pretty quickly. Yeah, composition, whatever. 
piss off. Charlie to Guardian. How? Oh, hello. He's good. Which means the military for you. Specifically, that military. What was. Yeah, the attrition's actually gotten worse. Alright, punch it. That's 100%. That's a win. So did I get the... No, we didn't get the temple. That's frustrating. But kind of expected, to be honest. Alright, so... We don't have the ability to usurp Rostov just yet, because we need this stuff as well. So we're going to declare war on this dude. He's actually in the Pagan Defensive League, whatever. So we'll just quickly... Infamy minus 50. We're apparently holding the wrong type of thing. Ah, uh, yep, because we're not supposed to have one of those. So we just grab a dude. You'll do. And he gets the county. Congratulations. Now, start the move. 2nd of May. Should be out of the league. Yep. Declare war, and it's a holy war for... Not for Mari, but for... Fuck, which one is it? Rostov. And he'll be joined by the chieftain of Pierre. Yeah, fucking whatever. Now, hopefully we don't have to worry about too much more than just this guy's forces. Nice. He adopted feudalism, which means he's now got a lovely little... Oh, and he actually kicked out the other guy as well. That's cool. Very nicely done. Somehow. Alright, so now we're just sitting in here, sitting pretty. I don't foresee too much trouble with this war. Okay, she wants me to fire one of my courtiers, specifically my marshal, who is very good at his job, so she should stay the hell out of this. Goddamn wife. Now... I'm going to up the reinforcement rate again. Because, I mean, for one, these guys down here are actually pretty much reinforced, so they're not going to be too big a drain. And these guys up here need the reinforcements. Yeah, sure, whatever. Good, good, good. And in fact, we're actually gaining money even with the, um, I say that and we just lost 100 bucks for no good reason. But we're actually, from what it's telling me, still in the black. Need a new commander. You're up. What are you doing? He might be trying to come in here and besiege this bit, which is fine, he can do that. But he's not doing that, he's headed to Susdale to join up with that army. Is he at war with this guy? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, keep on fighting your own little wars in between yourselves, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind one bit. Oh yeah, now we can actually check the date format thing. Yeah, it'll be September, because otherwise the, the, July, the June date, sorry, would have already passed. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to actually have to fight a battle here. I mean, not in this particular fight. All right, I believe the crusade time is up. Yep, okay, so we're able to declare a crusade whenever we're ready. We just have to be ready. 
Of course, the only thing we can really do to be ready is to um, position our retinues because everything else that we use, all the levies, of which we will be raising a number of, Okay, he's got a new heir. Still not murderable. He does hate us because we've insulted him in some fashion. But, fuck him. That looks like his idiot heir died under suspicious circumstances. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. Yeah, all we have to do is position the retinues and then everything else is levies. I mean, it's important, but, you know. It's not absolutely super critical. Uh, flatter and serve, and we're not lowering taxes. All right, we can usurp the Duchy of Morovia? What? Really? I mean... We want to do that. Yeah, we absolutely want to do that. Use up. Thank you. Congratulations, buddy. You're a Yarl. Of Moravia. Done. So now we've we've got technically got a few good reasons to do du jour claims. And not just on fucking the Byzantines, but I'm pretty sure we've got a few of those. But I'm specifically looking for, yeah, Bohemia. So we could chip away at bits of Bohemia. It would be very difficult to usurp the actual place itself, because we'd have to do... I mean, we've got a du jour claim on Hradic here, which is held by the King of Bohemia, but he holds a lot of shit. Most of it probably Bohemia. Um, and then we'd have to do a holy war, quickly snag Bohemia, and then we could strip his kingdom from him. And that would um, isolate him like that. So you'd have the Bavarian, Tyrol, Innsbruck, all that sort of thing. Uh, it's doable. But on the other hand, we could just come over here and take all of goddamn Greece. We'll probably never be able to use the Byzantine Empire. It will be a slow slow death for them, which is why I want to get it started. All right, where are you guys going to go? Um, well, they're headed to Bryansk, which is down there, so we, these guys should head down this way. Can you guys get to Oka? You can, wow. Cool. Now, I'm not putting in, them in the boat to move them, even though it would probably be quicker, just, but because of the half morale thing. I don't want to lose morale. Yeah, punch it. Got Badil pregnant. Good work on me. We're taking attrition here. It's only a very small amount, though. We've got an open council position for Spymaster. Ah, because our current Venetian dude... Yeah. Got ganked or whatever. Um, yeah, you'll do nicely. Study tech in Constantinople. And that means you need a new guardian. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to keep them here, even though they are taking that little bit of attrition, and it will actually prevent them from getting reinforced fully. Oh, that was one of mine? Okay. Now he's headed to Viasmia on the 5th. We might try and do a cutoff. What have we got? Culture. Okay, we can advance culture in some fashion. Um, noble customs, yeah, because we're mainly dealing with nobles. Right, they're going to pop in on the fifth. Oh, okay. What did you take? 
Oh, that little bit of there. Okay, well, good job. Keep it coming. Alright. Move. Not an intercept. That is alright. We will then move up like that. He's going to stop moving. Are you going to move somewhere else? You are. 3rd of March, 1st of March, but they're moving to where I am. Caught him. Alright. Yeah, because the computer t occasionally takes a little bit of, like, a couple of days to change its mind on something, that's enabled us to catch this army. Okay, our truce is running out on Bohemia, so that's a good thing. Remember, I have a Bohemian Zach. Whoa! Okay. This is what we call important. So we do still have a truce with Bohemia for 39 days. If we do a holy war on him, the Byzantines will get shitty at us. And look, the Byzantines are getting shitty with themselves. Alright. Wow. He's still got 47,000 dudes, but what is that in there? That's part of Slavonia, part of the Duchy of Slavonia. We could take part of the Duchy of Bononia, that'd get us right next to um, Greece and actually give us a good inlet. Uh, except we need that bit of land there. Any revolts up here? Yes, revolts up here. Very good. All right. I feel like the Bohemian one's a bit more important. So what we're going to do is try and take an entire swath of land off Bohemia here. So what are my options? Probably pest. Uh, it's going to be part of Poland at some point. If I take Balaton, that's a big duchy. But it's also not part of Bohemia itself. Though the Bohemian is in control of Bohemia. Um, how many troops does the Bohemian have? 13,000. Alright. We're going to snipe. We've got a couple of du jour claims, we're just going to snipe those out. Ah, except I do want to do a holy war on the... Um... Though if I do a holy war... For Austria, maybe. Because that would cut them. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Holy war for Austria. Get your ass over this way. I'm a little wary of this particular Byz Byzantine revolt because they've got a lot of troops. Like, a lot of troops. And what sort of a war was it? Lowering Crown Authority. So that would be useful for me. If they did succeed. But they won't. I don't think they will. They do outnumber him. And he isn't that good at military. The problem here is that I really can't declare the Crusade until that clears up, because otherwise we're not going to be taking all of Greece, are we? So, hmm. We could take Mallorca. That'd be int like, funny. If we took that bit of land, it would basically kick them out of um, up here. Hmm. No, I think the best bet is to take this bit of land in here. Slavonia. Alright, we'll do that. So, congratulations. Oh, we're going to claim on Abydos. Where's Slavonia? There it is. Go for it. Alright. They need a character. Let's make it him. 
push him in there. Now I am actually going to, what, hire the Yom Vikings? Uh, is that going to be a good option? There's 7,000 of the little fucks, so... Yes. Don't put me in charge of the fucking little bastards. Um, and then we're going to get their guys to run it. Because what else are we hiring them for? Alright, I'm going to need these boats. Up there. Did it seriously still have me in this damned army? I do not want to be in the army. Resign. Thank you. Alright. Yep, good. 40%. We kidnapped this dude. Excellent. That's 75%. Where are they running to? Roslavl? Okay, chase him. Now, obviously, we're not going to get that army all the way down, but we'll get it as close as we can. Beyond Vikings, that is. This guy has declared war on me. Really? He's got a lot of event troops out of that. There's no other way. Yeah. Oh, he hired a bunch of mercs. Uh, what was the raise command? Zed. How many is that? He's got 8,000. We've got 78. Another 1,000. Yeah, it'll probably do it. Move them all in there. Move them all in there. Pull me out of the damned army. Thank you very much. Now he's moving oddly. I just want to keep an eye on him because I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing. He's also pulled these guys in. That's fine. They're headed this way. Oh, good, good, good. That's 100% of this war. Get it done. Thank you. Very nice. Usurp that title. Thank you. And yep, as predicted, it's split. Now we give all the land to this guy, but not before I divvy it up a little bit. Very good. Congratulations, buddy. You are now the Jarl of Rostov. Six days left in the Bohemian one. Ah, so these guys need to head down this way. These guys are doing a little besiege job. It's going to be rough because it's going to take a while. But we're kind of hoping that they don't get their guys together to kick us out specifically. Oh, we could have taken a Malfi. Oh, well. All in good time. Yeah, whatever. Lost my stress trait because I've got gardens. That's a lot of troops that these fuckers have managed to hire. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Oh yeah, you guys, of course, you're in position. Get on the boat. And the boat will, as fast as it can, get to where? That's probably a pretty good option for it. And I'll send these guys down this way. Down to there, yep. Should be fine. And then the Yom Vikings can do some shit with the Bohemian Revolt. Okay, so they're just besieging my shit. That's technically all right at this point. 
Can't believe he declared war on me. That's weird. And for this guy. Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre joined in. Yeah, fuck him. Unload. Okay, you got to unload that one. Sure, whatever. Oops, I did not mean to click that. I really don't want to take on both of these armies at the same time because uh, we probably don't have enough dudes for that. So what I'm going to try and do is just occupy this place, Uled Nail, because that will give me 100% war score. Just straight up, so join up in that place instead, guys. Thank you. However, we are going to need to move some of these guys around. So I don't want to move anybody out of Kravesh. But out of Sandomiers, that's fine. What are you doing in Sandomiers, actually? Oh no, Sandomiers is where that army is. Sandes is the one where no one should be. Or Lancaster. Come on, guys. That's fine. Alright, you guys just head down to Nitra for me real quick. How's this going? Not well. And there's the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre as well. Alright, cool. Come on, lads, move a little faster. I've got wars to start. <sighs> Stop murdering people. Actually, there was one in there who was plotting to usurp a title, but I need to deal with them expressly because it was one of my titles. Also, this guy needs to stop trying to stab someone. That one. Yeah, he's trying to take the Yardum. Wait, the Yardum of Seville? Why do I care about that? I mean, stop it, buddy. Yes, I know. Need a new commander. Yeah, he'll do nicely. Which army did we loot? Whoa, okay, that's an issue. That's a big issue because that's a 20,000 man army coming up against these guys who almost didn't have a guy. So let's see, aggressive leader, that's fine. Uh, Friedrich, I'm going to replace you very quickly with Nuba. And you're fine. Actually, I prefer you to be Kettleman. You guys, when are you marching down second? You're getting there in fifth. It might be enough to to get as a um, intercept or something at some point. Okay, put Berger in control of that flank. And... Yala Marae there. 30th, this is what happens when you've got to split your attention across different war fronts. What sort of terrain is it? I, I can't evade it, it's too quickly. Plains in mild winter. Yeah, it's going to be problematic. However, that's a Byzantine army. Like, really, buddy? Count Georg. Let's have a look at Count Georg. Wait. Georgius. Yeah, that guy then. 18. Flanker. So he's not in a flanking position because it's his army, so unless they don't have a guy in the center, in which case they're fucked. 
Also, 19,000 to 54,000? You lose a battle somewhere, mate. Yeah, you might have lost a battle somewhere. Look, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, because it's probably not. 12th of October to get to there. What about to there? 18th. Yeah, this one's definitely the best option. Ah, it's going to be tight. Okay, I'm going to send these guys in here. I'm going to start besieging this place and hopefully not get ganked. He's still got 12,000. These guys need a new commander. We'll give them that one there. And that's going to be their main army there, so I'm just going to... I can't... Oh, I raised up levies, of course. Alright, well guys, uh, congratulations, you can come down here. Probably not going to be able to, like, get in the fight, but... Oh great, a thousand gold. <sighs> here we go, lads. Alright, immediately they're at a disadvantage for the river crossing. Thank you. And they're not... Okay, they subbed out Georgius and put in Nicarus, or Nikitus. They don't have guys in either flank there. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna win this. He doesn't have any reinforcements in the area. I do, I've narrow flanked there. Move like so. Can we get a guy in? This scrub, that's down south. Yeah. Just for that fight. Yeah, I'm... 95% we've won this fight. It won't even contribute to the war score. Yeah, there it goes. But it's good for us because it damages the Byzantines. Or Byzantines. Whatever. And honestly, without too many losses on our side... We lost 1,300 dudes, they lost 10 times more. Look at those stats. Damn, that was incredible. I'm very happy with that particular fight, and we've actually got more military advances. We're going to go for military organization because supply limit has been shitting me recently. This little fight here. Yeah, no dramas. These guys are actually besieging something over here which belongs to the um, Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre, so that's fine. Alright, that's good. We've beaten them off. Wink. Now, the question is... Do we want to actually attack this army here? We might, actually, because... Where are they going? They're going to Zagreb, so we're going to have to wait for them anyway. So if I have a look at the Basilius' armies now, 29,000, and his rival has 38,000. So his rival is still on top, which is fine. That's actually kind of a position we want him to be in. Wink. Victory, we captured this one. Cool. Whatever. Done. Okay. So, we need a new military commander because apparently we lost one. He'll do. And there he is. Alright. Um, no, I think it's more important for us to actually attack this place. I don't care about how much sieges they how many sieges they take away from us. It's us occupying their shit, which ruins them. Oh, and I've just looked at the time. So it's actually time for uh, the end of the episode. So, as usual, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later. <laughs>